I finally solved the mystery of the problem I was having with the tool setter. In a previous episode, I was having problems with the tool setter, the, uh, which is on the table there. And what would happen is the, I would tell it to go ahead and figure out exactly what the length of the tool was. I would give it an approximate length by measuring with a ruler. And then it would come down, and it would come down close to the tool setter, and then start to slowly back up, uh, as you can see. And then I would get a message. And the message made no sense to me, so I asked about it. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, some people suggested it was macro corruption. So I reached out to my HFO, and the same day that they got the message, um, I sent the message on a Sunday. They replied Monday morning with a link to the macros or a copy of the macros, I forget which. So the first thing we're going to do is install the macros. Before I can reload the macros, I have to change a setting because right now the memory for the macros is protected. So I need to go to the settings and then arrow over to control panel, press enter, and then I'm looking for setting 23 right there. So now I can uh, turn that off. And then I will go to list programs. I've been having uh, problems with the USB drive, so I put it onto the network share. And it's in a folder here, this file right there. To load, reload the macros, I have to copy it to memory, and then it will recognize that these are macros and load them differently. So I'll press right enter, and it's saying overwrite yes, no, or all. I want to do all, so I don't have to say yes for every single one. It has to change. So I'll just type A. And then you can see it's uh, slowly reading them into memory. And now it's all done. So I should be able to go back to offset and do the uh, tool offset measure again. I go to the tool offset. Right here. And um, set length probing rotation, which is what I have or non-rotation. So then I'll just press to offset measure and then uh, press uh, cycle start. And it worked just fine. Now I did that with this door open like so and a magnet up there to uh, make sure that it believes that this door is closed as well. And that worked fine. Now, what I did before, when I was filming, is I had the door all the way open. And let me show you what happens when I have the door all the way open. This is exactly the problem that I was having before. And so the problem is that this right here is not able to receive the uh, IR signal from the, the box that is up there. So I'm going to do something and show you the difference. So I'm going to take a, uh, a piece of cardboard like so, uh, and now the signal should be able to bounce off that. And I'm going to do the same thing. So that's what the problem was uh, when I was trying to film it with the door all the way open. The signal was not able to get to uh, the, the box at the top. And that's what the problem was. The problem was not loading the macros as I thought. Before I forget, I want to protect the memory again by turning setting 23 back on. So I'll go back to the settings page. It's already conveniently on 23, so I'll just right arrow to change that to on, press right enter. And it's saying program and use. Okay, I've seen this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here. Actually, I'll go to over to hard drive. And I'm going to load a different program into memory, which is the spindle warm-up. That's a good one. F2, right enter. K, 
Okay, that's not... It's waiting. That's Oh, it says overwrite. Okay, yes, I want to overwrite that. Say... Okay, that's all good. Let's go back to settings. Change this to on. Now it's stuck. I want to make sure. I'll cancel, go back in here. And settings 23, program edit lock is now back on. So as you can see, the problem that I was having in the previous episode was operator induced. In my effort to have as much access while I was filming, I had the window, I had the door all the way open. And that's what created the problem. It couldn't bounce the IR signals off my large room to the receiver. So the good news is I gained a new skill. I learned how to load macros, which, you know, if they ever do become corrupt, now I know how to fix. I also have a copy of the macros, so that's a good thing as well. And the mystery is solved. So now I can start using the tool setter and I'm all set to go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be informed when I have new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.